How to Create a Token on Tezos Hey, have you ever wondered how you can create your own token? If so, you're in the right place. We'll teach you how to create a token on the Tezos blockchain without using code in 10 minutes. Sounds impossible? In this video, we'll walk you through a complete guide of the FA2 Bakery tool and discuss common use cases for creating tokens. FA2 Bakery, a token constructor on Tezos. You can deploy your token quickly in less than 10 minutes. The first step is to go to fa2-bakery.netlify.app. This project is open source. You may find the smart contracts and front-end code on GitHub. Disclaimer, the creation of a token is your responsibility. To use FA2 Bakery, you need to have a Tezos wallet. We recommend you use Temple Wallet as it is the most reliable. All tokens you create will be sent to your wallet address. And please keep in mind that you need to have some XTZ in your balance to deploy a token. You have the option to create tokens on the mainnet or the testnet. We'll use the mainnet in this case. To set the admin, simply paste the public address to the admin form. You can select any person as the admin. In this case, you will be the admin. The admin can update the admin status, POSH transfers and token approval, create, mint and burn tokens. You can make the admin functions unreachable by setting the zero address as the admin. Smart contracts are the foundation for token creation. We now need to fill out the contract name and description. It will not appear on the wallet. It's mainly needed for an admin to interact with the contract later. If you need to create a few tokens, you can do it under one contract. It will be cheaper for you and will still be pretty customizable. Luckily, one smart contract can include an unlimited amount of assets. However, each asset will increase the fee. We are almost ready to create the token itself. Now, you can choose the type of token you want to make. In the basic version, the admin can only pause the transfers and approvals of all tokens. In the case of the granular version, any asset can be paused or unpaused separately. You can set individual token statuses for each asset. The last settled status will be applied for each asset you create. We'll choose the basic version. Now, let's create the first asset. By the way, assets refers to tokens. Choosing a name is the first important step of token creation. It will be displayed in your wallet and on dApps. The next crucial step is choosing the symbol. This refers to its currency code. For example, USD, BTC, or XTZ. Please use ASCII symbols only. You're not limited to a certain number of symbols, but it's common practice to use three to four symbols. Now you have to set the total supply of tokens. Please note, it's not the maximum supply. You can mint new tokens after deployment by interacting with the smart contract. At the moment, you are busy setting the total supply. You can set it to zero and then mint tokens, or you can set it to 10 billion. There is no limit. We'll put 10,000 tokens. Decimals refer to the unit of the tokens used for display to users. In simple terms, it is the maximum number of places after the dot in the token's amount representation. For example, dollar sign has two decimals because the smallest amount represented is a cent. Bitcoin has eight decimals, i.e. the smallest unit of the BTC is 0.0000000001 BTC or one Satoshi. We'll set five. The next step is to paste an image web address. We recommend you upload it to a storage server or IPFS. In the case of an IPFS, keep in mind that if your image isn't requested regularly or the nodes decide not to store it, the image might be lost and you will have to upload it again. The description is mainly needed for interaction with smart contracts. You will not see it on the wallet. Pay attention to all this data because it can't be updated. And please note that all of this data will impact the fee slightly. The more storage you require on the blockchain, the greater the fee you will pay. Now click Deploy and approve the transaction on Temple Wallet. After successfully deploying these tokens, they will appear in your wallet. Now, let's check our balance. Open Temple Wallet and scroll down. Wow, these are our new tokens. Thanks for watching.
We look forward to your questions, reactions, and topic suggestions for the following video. Subscribe to our channel to learn more about DeFi.